um, not good enough. Um, <clears throat> thought they did a good job at West Brom, to be honest. Come and stifled us and uh, got around the second balls a lot better than we did in the, in the first period. I think we we looked a little bit more threatening in the second period when Rudy come on and uh, we loaded the box up with more bodies and obviously an aerial threat from him. Um, but you know, disappointing that we couldn't impose ourselves on uh, West Brom as as much as we would have liked and we uh, anticipated. Yeah, uh, but um, I'm not just saying it in hindsight. I think I said to you that, uh, after the first game, possibly at Bournemouth when we did win the game, that this is a transition period and it's going to be a lot of ups and downs. And I think if our uh, our points would um, marry into our performances, then we should have a lot more than four. But it is what it is, and we haven't, um, and we have to take that on the chin and uh, and put it right. I mean, I can look them boys in the eye and know that they're all on side, and um, and they're they're eagerly um, as as eager as I am to to put it right, and and we will. There's still an awful long time left in this season. No, no need for panic. Um, but you're obviously disappointed when you when you lose games, uh, especially previous to this one when you've you've played so well and you haven't got what you deserved. Today, possibly, we get what we deserve. Are you starting to worry at all? Just be patient. Yeah, but I I think I've said be patient from the start, and I think they have as a main. You know, it's just when you lose derby games, the patience wear thin. I'm 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 fully aware of that. But um, Tim Sherwood's at his best when he's backed into a corner.